unbox, build, and review of this set is coming right up. Hello everybody and welcome to The Brick Show. I'm Aiden and today we are going to be building, reviewing, and also unboxing the 75300 Imperial TIE Fighter. This set is recommended for ages 8 plus and has 432 pieces along with three minifigures. I think this set is worth the $40 price point as you do get three nice minifigures which is uh, normal for a $40 set, I would say. And you also get a build that I don't know if it's going to be good because I haven't built it yet, but um, you never know. So let's get to unboxing. To unbox it, unfortunately, there are some tabs which I do not like, as you probably know already. I just don't like some tabs, I think they're horrendous. And they just totally ruined the box. But that was relatively painless. And then you see the contents of the box. Pull this stuff out. That's everything in the box. We'll take a look at the box in a minute. It seems you have three bags. And no sticker sheet, looks like. No sticker sheet and instructions. So I'm going to build this up and we'll get to the review after we take a look at the box. So the box is not the greatest thing in the world. It does show the TIE Fighter pretty well. You have these three minifigures on the bottom. Which are nice, but that's standard. Your set information is up here. The LEGO Star Wars logo and Darth Vader. Side box art, you get a picture of the TIE Fighter. And then the back of the box shows the features of the set. And it shows how the cockpit can open, and also shows the spring-loaded shooters. And again, with the thumb tabs, just really kind of damages the box, which I don't like, but... Oh well, looks like you can play it in the Skywalker Saga, if it ever comes out. And... The code for that... Let me see, is there a code? It does not look like they give you a code, so I guess that means it's free. And so, the instructions are pretty basic. You have your instructions, Lego stuff, and then you get right into the build with the three bags. Back has the Skywalker Saga insert, and then all the other sets that came in the wave. And then just the build. So, I'm going to show you the build right now. One last thing before we take a look at the TIE Fighter. We're going to take a look at the minifigure. So, over here you have your droid minifigure. It is just, it's called NIL-8. So, it is named, but I don't think it really needs to be named. Let's let the camera focus. Not really focus. But yeah, it has some colored wiring on it. Some great detail. And the head is on right. It just doesn't really look right almost. It's so black that it doesn't really look the greatest. And if I put my hand, it still doesn't. looks better in person. Nice leg printing. The TIE Fighter pilot, you obviously need to be able to pilot your TIE Fighter. And this TIE Fighter pilot has plenty of torso detailing, some leg printing, and the helmet is very nice. The face is removable to see this, not angry clone face, but a more of a Let's just say, content clone face. And then there is some back printing on this one, and you get just a little bit of back printing. And then the face does show through a little bit when the camera focuses on that. Let's see, will the camera ever focus? Oh well, that's not going to focus. I'll show you the back printing on all of them in a minute. And then you have a stormtrooper. 
that is just your run of the mail stormtrooper pretty much the armor nothing to uh, go to the store about really kind of has a Luke Skywalker face on it the TIE fighter pilot looks like Han Solo so I guess maybe that's Luke and that's Han but you never know probably not but that just kind of reminds me of that the face is just kind of eyebrows brown eyebrows and then the helmet just goes back right on and then let's turn this around and just show you the back printing the back printing is pretty good on all of them and luckily there's no capes to take away from that back printing so you will always see that back printing now let's get into the TIE fighter finally so here is the TIE fighter this was a pretty easy build it took me probably about 40 minutes to build it's definitely yeah it's not hard to build but it is very very repetitive you build the wings twice obviously and then you build a lot of stuff at least twice sometimes four times so it is a very repetitive build and not the most the build you want to do I'm fixing the dish to the correct orientation like it actually should be I think but yeah so the features of this set are not the best but there are two main ones you can open up the cockpit and place your TIE fighter pilot in it and then close it up it takes a second you just gotta make sure to get them nice and squeezed in there and then you can close that up tight and he can fly around it's very swooshable and you can also that's the next feature but luckily they give you a spare spring loaded shooter and you can reload your missiles and fire again I'll show you how it works saw that but let me try one that's how it works now I've lost all three of them and that's pretty much how long the feature will last but it's good I personally don't keep them in I just it looks good it just I don't want to launch them out accidentally the wings themselves are very detailed and definitely represent the TIE fighter while you're building it it definitely does not look like a TIE fighter but once you put it all together it does look like a TIE fighter and definitely gives you that iconic TIE fighter look the wings oh that's actually on wrong but that dark gray doesn't bother me that much I mean it definitely doesn't make it as cohesive as it should be but it still works and I don't think it detracts from its quality which is a pretty good quality and I think it is worth the forty dollars you could probably even find a way to modify it where that piece wouldn't have to be there. But again, it's really up to your own opinion. I personally don't really care as much. It definitely does not look the greatest, but I can live with it, and that's what matters. Is it worth the 40 Yes, it is. This is definitely great for army building. Um, you get a stormtrooper, which is always great for army building, so you can grow your stormtrooper army as well as your TIE fighter army. So if you buy five TIE fighters to just have an army of them, you get five stormtroopers as well. That's a squadron of stormtroopers, pretty much. So it definitely pays to buy multiples of them. I probably will buy multiples of these, probably two or three, but not immediately. They're going to be spaced out, probably one now, one probably later in the year, December, and then probably one eh, next year before it retires, probably. That'll probably be when I buy them. And I will also be modifying the TIE Fighter into a TIE Interceptor, a TIE Advanced, and maybe a TIE Advanced, and maybe a TIE Bomber once I get two of them, because I think you would need two of them to modify. 
the set, but overall I think this set is worth it. So go head over to your local Lego store or online and buy a couple. They go on clearance, which I think they will go on clearance. They won't get super marked down, but they should go for, don't mark my words on this, but 32 probably would be very reasonable to pick this up. That's about, what, 20, 30% off. That will probably happen eventually. But, yeah, that's pretty much all for today's video. Remember to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and comment down below what you think of this TIE Fighter. And we will see you next time on the Berkshire. Bye for now.